Welcome to this QuickBooks 2021 tutorial for beginners on how to pay part of a bill. My name is Matt Holtquist with the QuickBooks University. First things first, hey, subscribe to my channel if uh, this video is helpful. Also, give it a like, thumbs up, share it. I sure would appreciate that. And also, head over to the QuickBooks University. Got a lot of great training over there. Got a couple of free videos as well on the top mistakes that most people make. Uh, in QuickBooks, in desktop or QuickBooks online. So these are definitely things uh, you don't want to do in QuickBooks. So please be sure to go check that out. That website is qbuniversity.org. Okay, so we're going to talk about how to pay part of a bill. All right, so when you're in business and you have bills and you got a lot of bills coming up, you got a lot to pay and you're waiting on money to come in from your customers, uh, sometimes you got to pay part of a bill and it's very simple to do in QuickBooks and I want to show you how to do that. That way you don't have to say, hey, I got to save up for this bill. Sometimes it's better to pay part of it to tell your vendor, hey, I'm trying to pay my bills, uh, but it's going to be a little bit. So here is some of it and then I will get the rest of it to you next week or the week after. All right, so here we are on the home screen in QuickBooks. And what we're going to do is we are going to go to vendors and then we're going to go to pay bills. All right. You can also do that uh, right within QuickBooks here, right here. So right on the home page with the flow chart, you can click on pay bills. Same thing, hitting that drop down menu. So we have our bills here and we say, you know what? We don't have a ton of money in our checking account. Now, this is a sample file, so they've got quite a bit of money, 142000 in their checking account, but let's say that you don't have a whole lot of money in your checking, you can only pay part of the bills. Well, what you're gonna do, you're gonna check off, let's say that you wanna get some money to some of these people here. You really need to pay this bank of any city the full amount, because maybe that's a loan payment and you don't wanna be late on those. But Kershaw Computer Services, you know, you say, you know what, I'm gonna send them $1,000. So what you do here is just follow what I did, is highlight the amount to pay and just type in, delete what the full amount is, type in what you're gonna pay, and then click on a different one. So this one, let's say that we're gonna pay $500. And that way we show, okay, of the total $2,000 bill and the $6,000 bill, we're gonna pay 500 and 1,000. And you'll see down here the total and then you make sure in my other videos you see on how to pay bills, you make sure it's, you know, you to be printed or assigned check number, checking account, etc. Take any credits that you have available. And then you say pay selected bills. Now, this screen comes up and let's say we want to, we just go to pay more bills. What you're going to see here is that the amount due now has gone down by that partial payment. So that one went down by $500, that one went down by $1,000, and the bank of any city is gone. That way you can still track the balance that you have due. It's as simple as that. And this is a really handy tool uh, that you can use when you are short a little bit of cash. Any questions, any comments, please feel free to leave those below. Also, again, head over to the QuickBooks University, sign up for those videos uh, where you will discover the top mistakes that most people make in QuickBooks. And also sign up for the full course. I answer personal questions for members that sign up for the full course. And uh, I answer a lot of questions for a lot of people really help them out. Again, that website is qbuniversity.org.